Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to practice using the sine law. So a couple things, go ahead and set your calculator to degrees and what we're going to do today is calculate all values to one decimal place. So what is the sine law? Given a triangle ABC, then sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C like that. Also, we can write it a little differently. We can say A over sine A, B over sine B equals C over sine C, right? Just a reminder, right? If you have one over two equals two over four, you can flip them both. Two over one equals four over two. And so that's what we did here. Okay, so example one, solve the triangle. What does that mean? That means find all of the angles and all of the sides in the triangle. Okay, so when we say solve the triangle, that's what that means. So we have two angles here, so we can do 180 minus 25 minus 110 gives 45 for angle C. So we have angle A and side A. We have angle B, but we're going to get side B like that. So we're going to write our equation like this. So we're going to go times sine B to both sides. So B equals A is 26, sine A sine 25, and sine B is sine 110, like that. Punch that in your calculator, and you get 57.8 to be side B. Okay, same thing here. We have angle C from here, but not side C. So we're going to go times side C to both sides. So we have sine 45, and same thing with A, uh, sine 25, and A is 26, like that. Punch that in your calculator, and this, the side C is 43.5. Okay, another example. So here we have two of the angles, so we can get the third one. 180 minus 86 minus 58 gives 36 as our side C, our angle C, like that. So what do we have? We have side C and angle C, we have angle A, but not side A. So we're going to write our equation like this. Times sine A to both sides, so we have it like this. So A is 4.8. Next, uh, we have angle B, but not side B. So we're looking for side B like that. Plug, uh, multiply sine b to both sides, plug in what we know, and our b value is 5.6. Okay, time for some practice. Solve the triangle, a and b. Go ahead and pause the video and answer that. Okay, we're back. So here we have angle A, angle B, but not angle C. So 180 minus 115 minus 27 gives 38. We have angle A and side A. We have angle B, but not side B. So we're going to isolate our B here. Times sine B to both sides, and this gives 29.9. We have angle C, but not side C, so we're going to look for side C. We're going to go times sine C to both sides, plug in what we know, and therefore C is 20.3. Okay, B. We have two angles here, so the third one, 180 minus 87 minus 56 gives 37. We have angle A, but not side A. And we have side C and angle C like that. So we're going to go times sine A to both sides. And that gives 6.2 like that. We have angle B but not side B. So here we are like this. Multiply sine B to both sides. Plug in what we know. And B is 7.5. And that's it. It's that easy. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.